Kia ora and welcome to Behind the Cloud Technical Video Series. According to several survey institutes, organizations without any intelligence data management, users spend up to a third of the whole day just searching and gathering information without not even working on it. Well, in a mid-sized company, that means roughly a quarter of a million dollars per year just from IT department. That's where IBM Spectrum Control and Storage Insights comes to the rescue, boosting your productivity to outstanding levels. In this short demo, IBM Master Inventor Barry White will show us how to quickly display storage metrics by using Storage Insights. Again, small tips, but hopefully with a big impact. I hope you enjoy it. So I just want to cover off a few things on navigating around and particularly trying to drill down to um, look at specific objects or find objects uh, within Storage Insights or Spectrum Control. Um, so obviously on the left hand side you've got the various views um, that you can go to. Pools would probably be one of my standard places to go when I'm doing some kind of debug of performance. Um, but if, say, you were wanting to drill down to, into a specific set of volumes, and the, now you've got 400 odd volumes here, and there's obviously only a subset of them. So, depending on if you've done a bit of analysis, you can obviously use the filter. So we could we could do a bit of a filter on there, and that will then reduce this amount of objects that we have in the in the table itself. So there we go. We've got a kind of manageable number of objects, and then we can select them in the table. And if you then click on that view performance button. What that does is opens up a new tab and you then select those specific set of objects to view. Um, but often you might not actually know um, even where you're trying to drill into. You're just trying to find, okay, well, I had a problem, what was happening at that particular point in time. So instead of doing it that way, if we reset that back to this normal, if you use the performance tab itself, then essentially that's going to give you access to everything. Now it it sets up some defaults, which probably aren't not the things you want to do. So we're probably all used to going into the metrics button there, clearing that off, and then say we just want to look at kind of write data rates and write response time um, and plot those. But again, it's still got those first set of objects that it picked. And that's because we're still viewing down in this table the original metrics that we had there. So although we're plotting something different, we're still viewing and selecting the objects based on the original. So the edit table metrics button gives us the same thing that we can then clear off what it originally had. And then say, if we're just interested in those, I'm sorry, the, the right um, rates again, we can do that. Now that will ad ad adapt or update this table. Um, and so by default, now we're looking at the, the right data rates and the right response times, and it will resort based on these. So now if we actually say, well, actually, I want to look at what was the maximum right response time over this particular time period that I'm looking at. Um, so last 12 hours, for example, and then we can reorder the table so that it sorts the, co the, the rows in the table based on that right. Now it's still got those same original ones selected, but if we then go up to the top of the table, there we go, we've got our kind of busy, our, our highest latency objects. And now we can select say the top five or six of those, and that will then adjust and replot to those. So if you're looking for a particular metric, then don't just change the metric on the table or on the, on the view, because that will only change what you're actually viewing you need to then go in and then this way you can drip delve down or drill down into, okay, what are my busiest objects or what are my ones that are giving the worst latency and then start to actually do a bit more analysis onto those. Uh, and then going in and changing, obviously the metrics will keep those ones that we've actually selected in the table, but maybe you want to clear those and uh, look and see if I'm doing Global mirror, for example, what's my lag going across to the, the other site? Is any of that contributing to the the, the latency? Um, and for example, here, yes, obviously our link is pretty busy at this point because we're getting a lot of lag on the on the replication there. So just a quick kind of like um, hint there or a tip on how to actually use the the table and the metric view inside in, insights. Yeah.